up? It's Spartan here. I'm back with the latest Snapshot 14W25D. And uh, before we get started, I know I know I haven't been around a while. Um, that's because if you guys didn't know, I'm in a band, like a marching band, and I've had band camp the whole week, so I didn't have any time to record at all. And plus, I haven't done a Snapshot in a while since the bunnies, I believe. So plus, there's been a couple that come out. So this is like a lot, like all mashed together. So, there's that. Anyway, uh, without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Going from left to right, down here we have red sandstone. It's just basically sandstone, but it's red. And there's also different things that you can craft with it. You can make a chiseled red sandstone, smooth red sandstone, red sandstone stairs, and the slabs. Uh, and to craft these, you just need four red sand, and you get the red sandstone. And to get the red sand, um, there are those mesa biomes that came out in 1.7. Um, you know, like those different layered kind of things. I don't really know what they look like. I've never really found one. But, uh, yeah, that's where you find the red sand, and then you just put it in a 2x2 by, uh, two by two pattern, and you get red sandstone. So there's that. Uh, next over here, which I'm really happy about, there are these armor stands. Uh, now, I know they have these in, like, in Bibliocraft and Attack of the B-Team, like, every mod pack out there. But now they have them in Vanilla Minecraft, and cr to craft these, you just need six sticks and a uh, stone slab. And uh, you get the armor stand. And to uh, to put the armor on, you just kind of right click where they would go. And this is what it looks like without any armor on. It kind of looks weird. Like, like it kind of looks slouched a little bit. Um, but that's how you do it. And then you just right click where the armor would go to put it back on, like so. And then you have go in there. And then you have your armor stand. So that's cool. So and uh, these will also um, oh. Apparently you can rock, walk through them. Um, these will, uh, the armor stands will also hold like enchanted armor, um, skulls. So like if I took this creeper head, and yeah, see I could make it a creeper head, which is awesome. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, they added creeper heads and zombie heads into vanilla Minecraft. You can get those as rare spawn or rare drops if you kill one of those creatures. But uh, yeah, these will, uh, they will, what? Oh, never mind. Uh, these will hold. Um, like enchanted armor or dyed leather armor and they will also hold pumpkins and like wither skeleton skulls and stuff so that's cool again six sticks and a stone slab to get the armor stand I uh, already talked about the skulls next we have which I had no idea that these came out these were completely new to me I was just scrolling through and I was like this and I was like holy poop new stuff and apparently there's like a player head too but it's like glitching out I don't know if it's just my like oh shoot I don't know if it's just like my texture pack Alright, hold up. Let's just go back to, like, default Minecraft, see if that was a problem. Yeah, it was just my texture pack. There's, uh, there's also, like, individual heads now, too, but this is boring, so I'm gonna go back to this one. Um, it's over. There we go. Now there's, uh, different heads on here. Uh, not heads. Fences. Uh, obviously the spruce fence, birch fence, um, jungle. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, dark oak and acia. As how do I, what is this? Uh, yeah, that pops up, is it? Uh, Acecia? Acecia fence? Yeah, and to craft these, uh, you just need uh, any any wood if you want. So if you wanted to make a spruce one, you just grab the, the spruce wood planks and then you put them like this with two sticks in the middle and you get a jungle fence. And this will also work for the oak planks now. You can also craft the uh, different uh, stuff with the oak planks. Like if you wanted just an oak fence, you could craft it like that too. But yeah, anyway, fences. Next, we have different doors. Yeah, there's new doors now. Um, there are, obviously, the spruce door, which is my favorite. It kind of looks like a castle door. Uh, the birch door. Eh, it's, it's cool. Um, if you guys can't, I'll go over to the other side. Uh, this is the jungle door, which is kind of cool. Uh, the dark oak door, which is kind of just like a modern house kind of deal. And then uh, the acacia door, which is like a freaking jail cell. And uh, to craft these, you just need... It's just the normal crafting recipe door. Just switch out the planks. So, um, yeah, that's that, and you can, they're awesome. Um, I'm gonna get to these, oh, shoot, dang it, I needed that. I'm gonna get to these last, because these are amazing. Over here, uh, these aren't new beacons, but these are, uh, colored beams. Um, if you wanted to make these, all you really need to do is take a piece of stained glass, whatever color. Um, I really like this black one, it looks really cool. Um, like, literally, I can change this one to, uh, red. Like, if I broke that, it'll switch back to normal, and I 
shift click. And there, you got red. A red beam. And that's really all you do. You just put a different stained glass on top of the beacon block and it'll, it'll switch over to that color. Alright. Lastly, over here, we have banners. Now, dude, these are legit. Like, these add so much customization customization to it. Um, if you go over to the decoration blocks, you have all the, like, the base colors. Um, and to craft these, you just need six pieces of wool and a stick. Kind of like a sign, except with wool, and you get a banner. And you can switch this out with any color wool, as I did with the uh, light blue. But, I mean, look at these animations. If you have it on the ground, it sways. And then if you have it on blocks, like, there's obviously no stick attaching it to the ground. But if you have it on blocks, then it still sways, too. And you can add all of these des like designs to it. I mean, look at it. Look at what I made right here. It's can I? No, it's just a black banner. So it's a uh, orange banner, and then a red and magenta square on the side, a blue diamond, um, and a green stripe down the center, and a uh, yellow stripe down the center. This is my favorite one. I know it kind of looks like the Brazilian flag, kind of, um, but you know, whatever. But to uh, get these different, let's just go ahead and grab a. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll make this again, this banner right here. So, we're going to grab a line banner, and just place it down, you got the line banner. Blue, whoop de doo um, And then, what you're going to do, you're going to grab a die. Um, so I used black on the border, so I need eight ink sacks. I need four lapis for the diamond, and I need three dandelion for the stripe down the center. And now what you do... To get the border, like the black border right here, you place this in the center, play, get the ink sacks and surround it, and you get the line banner with the black border. Next, you get the uh, lapis lazuli, and you make a uh, diamond around it, you get the diamond majigger, but I don't want to do that, I don't want to make it look like that, because it'll come out with the yellow line on top of the rhombus, I don't want to do that. Um, for the line down the center, you just put these down the center, and then you put it like that, and you get the yellow pale, I don't even know what that means. So then uh, you do that, and then you get this, and boom, you got that. And it looks brighter over here, I think it's just because of the shadows, but whatever. I'm gonna make another one real quick, I'm gonna make a completely new new banner. Let's let's grab a uh, let's grab a blue banner. Let's put, you can do so many things with this, like, let's grab, if you do this, watch this, you can do something cool with this. If you get this and you do that, you make like a freaking, like a half and half, like a yink, oh! I had an idea. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Oh, where are the decorations? I had... Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, yes! You make a freaking yin and yang! Yes! Can you... I, oh, I wonder. Oh, I'm thinking now. Oh, dude, this would be so cool if I could do this. Oh, this would be so cool if I could do this. Okay. Dang it! Nope, nope, dang it. What I was gonna do, I was gonna have the yin yin yang kind of looking thing. Alright, so. So let's trash this. Let's, uh, let's make a new banner. Let's make, uh, let's get. Let's get the blue banner. Let's get some, uh. Let's make it a lime border. So we need eight of the border. So put that in there. And then put the lime border on that. And then we have this. Let's get, I don't really like these squares on the sides, I think those look weird. So let's get, um, uh, orange would be cool. I wonder if I can make a diagonal. Can I make a diagonal? Let's try. Dude, that'd be cool if I could make an X. Oh, that'd be so cool. <gasps> oh, I can. Oh, dude, let's make. Alright, let's make. Oh, I wonder if you can make, like, a skull and crossbones thing. Oh, that'd be legit. I'm thinking now. Alright, let's do this. Let's do that, and then let's get another three. Three. But, oh, dang it. There are three. And then this way. That should work. Yes! Dude! Oh, Alright, now we just gotta figure out how to make a skull and crossbones. Maybe we take a skeleton skull and put it in the center, like this. No. Okay. Um, well, let's just do for like a diamond and see how that looks. Oh, whoops! Wrong banner. Whoops. Is that kind of like a 
skull and cross. Uh, that that kind of looks like it. I really like that though. I really I really like this. So like if I wanted to claim this house, I could do that. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so cool in vanilla. Dude, oh, dude, this is awesome. The possibilities are endless. And I think I think there was one more thing. I think bunnies make noise now. Let me check. Yeah, that. Hold on. Listen. Yeah, they like make little small noises. Oh, you hear it? You hear it? Yeah. All right. Uh, that that about covers it for this video. Um, I know it was kind of short or long or something in between there. Uh, but I could, I have stuff going on, so I just got to get something out. But uh, that's really it. Um, when the next when the next snapshot comes out or 1.8 comes out, I will uh I'll be doing a review over that over the whole thing. Um, so back when it was. Remember, you have to use lapis to trade with villi or you have to use lapis to enchant now, and the slime blocks and stuff, right? Yep, no, nope, that's emerald. Or the slime is and like the prismarine and stuff. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get there. I'll I'll review all that stuff again. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys slap that like button below and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I will be back soon for another video. Um, I do have school soon though, which is a bummer. So I won't. I'll be back on the. Uh, the Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule if you guys are new to my channel. But, um, other than that, I will talk to you Spartans later.